Hey, this is Side and Coach of the Simi 6 bringing you the week 6 battle of our run of the PAC. This week we are facing the Mississippi Morpicos and their coach, Scoots. Um, so, <laughs> we managed to uh, get ourselves a win. Uh, Hopefully, like it was, it was a bit of a uh, luck. Well, okay, I lucked out a bit <laughs> with the ending there. He didn't, uh, my opponent didn't notice his time, and basically, yeah, just ran out of time. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, and I, I believe I was just like one one move away from losing. So, uh, I, I got a bit lucky there. Uh, not the best way to win, honestly, but uh, I'll I'll take it. Um, hopefully, yeah, it just it's just what I need to break this the the losing streak. Hopefully, I can start building a winning streak now. Um, but you know, we're facing a a, a strong team, and hopefully, uh, we can you know uh, convert. We can build up momentum. Uh, leading up to what possibly could be a playoff position, who knows? Uh, but before we get into that, like before we get into the battle team builder opponents team, I always, as always, I want to uh, say check out my opponent's uh, channel uh, and his side of the battle. Uh, I'll link to both will be in the description below. Uh, also, if you just want to skip to the battle, uh, there's timestamps in the description. Uh, but, yeah, let's get to it. So, this is uh, my opponent's roster. Uh, as you can see, uh, he has um, a very, I, I want to say, a very offensive team. Uh, with some actually good bulk in, in there. Uh, the... the uh, Reggie Steele, Heat, Rarity of Heat. Um, funny enough, Ivysaur, well, at least for, against myself, Ivysaur is going to be a bit of a problem, could be a problem. Uh, uh, Dragon can be pretty bulky, same with BGM, uh, and Aromatis, so yeah, there's a lot of bulk behind it, but there's also a lot of threatening Pokemons. Uh, Honestly, uh, Shifu, uh, this is the single strike variant. Oh no, rapid strike, so rapid strike variant. Um, Shifu could do tons of damage. Uh, same with Landorus. Uh, again, also BGM. Um, and uh, on, uh, and uh, Zora Arc, I think, also is another Pokemon that can do uh, tons of damage. Uh, whether it's special or physical, but then at the same time, because of its ability, it could be a little bit confusing on whether it is out or not. So, um, in terms of what I think he's going to bring, um, I, I suspect Registeel, uh, Ivysaur, and uh, Shifu, uh, those are kind of Pokemon I suspect will come into the match. Um, Ivysaur, I think, is his best uh, uh, Pokemon that can take uh, a vicious Ren. Uh, in terms of his old, like, well, uh, in terms of water resistance, like Shifu, Ivysaur, and Dredgigan. So I think also a Dredgigan might come in. Uh, that also said that I don't know if Rotom Heat will come. Uh, it's, it's just weak to both. Extra Drill and uh, um, Dracovish. I mean, I guess it could fight back against Extra Drill, but um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if Rotom Heat will come. Uh, I suspect maybe also uh, those four, I think, will be the ones that come in. In terms of the remaining two, I can see something like Landorus uh, as well as. Uh, What's it called? Uh, no, well, Landorus because of my like the intimidate and the physical, uh, the physical nature of my Pokemon. Uh, 
Zorak would be a little bit tricky. Uh, I also could see uh, Excelgo uh, with an unburden with a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Throat spray or something. And that, that would outspeed even like uh, if I had Sandrush. Uh, extra drill or or what's it called uh Dracovish. so that's probably something that's there so i don't think aromatics will come neither i think onyx uh or bem but yeah those that's what i expect uh so with that said let, let's just get into my team and the first one i'm gonna go with is gigalith uh with the sandstream and uh leftovers uh it's much the same as uh, my the Gigalith set I used last week, except instead of Toxic, I have Protect. Um, actually, it is kind of much the same of the Gigalith set I used in general. Uh, especially Defensive, it's my best uh, Pokemon against his, well, special attackers. <laughs> uh, specifically, I guess, uh, I think it would be the best, best Pokemon to like come in on Excelgore. Um, because that could do uh, a lot of damage. Proton Heat is also the other Pokemon that I, I think uh, it's the safest switch in. Like, Gigalith is the safest switch in. I mean, I think if I can predict uh, a Thunder Electric Attack, sorry, um, then Extra Drill could come in, or even then, like, if it's weakened, like, after a single overheat, probably switching Dracovish, but. Gigalith, I think it's just the best overall uh, defensive switch in to, to rotate on heat. But you could switch in with something like Aromatisse, maybe VTM as well. Yeah, so uh, it's my best special defensive Pokemon. Uh, Rock Blast, Earthquake, I think those are the two. You know, uh, your. It's not Edge Quake, but I guess it's. Uh, it hits everything effectively or neutrally. I've got the Stealth Rocks, obviously, it protect to get chip damage, as well as uh, leftover healing. So, yeah, that is uh, a pretty standard set uh, for Gigalith. Uh, for my second Pokemon, I am going with Dracovish uh, with the Choice Scarf. Uh, even though I'm going with Sandstream Gigalith, I'm not really pushing uh, a, f uh, a Sand. Sand, like a, a sand team, like I'm not really abusing the sand per se. Uh, so with that said, you know, I I, I am just going with Choice Scarf, this should outspeed his uh, his team with even the stats I have. Uh, I went with uh, Ficious Ren, Psychic Fang, uh, Leech Life, and Earthquake. His team is actually pretty uh, weak to. to are pretty vulnerable to ground type moves, so Earthquake, I think, is a good move there. Uh, Leech Life is there to hit. Well, like I said, there's like. There are uh, a few uh, Pokemons that resist the water type moves, and Oshifu and Ivysaur are weak to the. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Uh, they're weak in sex thing, so that's uh and I know that uh Dredgigan's not actually weak to, to Leech Life, but uh I think Dredgigan does does still take a lot from Fishes Ren. Uh a Pokemon that's I think surprisingly takes can probably take uh a Fishes Ren and hit that hard is BEM, so hence I I have the Leech Life there. Uh though I think Fishes Ren still does lots more damage. Um, so, look, I, I think I just leash life there really so that I can get maybe some healing back, but that's about it. On some super effective Pokemon like uh, Zorark or EM, but the main thing is I'm probably going to click, click Fishes Ren. There's really no need unless uh, I see Ivysaur's on the field. Maybe I'll click Psychic Fang. So, yeah. Um, 252 h uh 252 attack plus so adamant nature uh that does maximum damage 124 with the choice scarf should outspeed his whole team uh it's unboosted obviously uh and then the rest went into bulk 
It's a pretty simple build. Uh, uh, for my third Pokemon, I'm going with X Drill. X Drill, uh, I think, is my just first. You know, as, as always, going to be my consistent damage dealer. I have Mole Breaker, so I'm not going for the Sand Rush. As I was saying before, I'm not really going to go Sand abusing. Um, with Leftovers, I have Earthquake, Rock Slide, Rapid Spin, Iron Head. These four moves, I think, just covers this team pretty well. Uh, Rapid Spin, obviously, I think, boosts the speed that uh, boosts x wheel speed as well, so that's uh, very useful. And removes Hazards. Uh, uh, of course, uh, I, I'll go with 244 plus speed, that should add speed. Um, what one is it now? Uh, Rotom Heat, I believe. So, uh, yeah. No, I believe it is Rotom Heat. Uh, uh, because I, obviously, I, I don't want to underspeed against Rotom Heat. Uh, and with the Mole Breaker, obviously, uh, it's not, it's not immune to ground, so, uh yeah. Uh otherwise, you know, the 252 attack maximum to maximize damage and the rest went into bulk. Uh not much I could say there. Um in terms of my oh well, for fourth Pokemon it's going to be uh Sylveon. Uh this is kind of a clerical role. Uh and more importantly, I think it's my best switch in to uh, things like Dredgigan. Um at full HP. Uh, if I can get a free switch in, probably could do uh, well against a uh, Shifu. Uh, well, at least it could maybe threaten out a Shifu. I don't really know what uh, because I think a Shifu could still um, with uh, the. Signature move, which I forgot, Surging Strike. Uh, it could uh, Oko Sylveon, even with the investment I have, or, or at least badly damage it to a point where it's, Sylveon's not really that useful. So I do have to be careful um, with that. Also, you know, uh, I think just Hyper Void is just a strong move. Uh, it hits his team pretty well. Uh, you know, he has, I believe, just. Uh, well, yes. No, I think he actually has a, quite a bit of fair resist. Reggie Steel, uh, and Proton Heat. Yeah, they're two main ones I can remember. Ivysaur, I think, is the other fair resist. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I have the Hyper Voice Wish Protect. I have Baton Pass in there. Um, I just wanted to get the slow, uh, wish. Uh, sorry, like the, the, the guarantee wish. Because this is kind of like a slowish Pokemon, so uh, I am going for that. Um, I want to get the safe wish in, sorry, that's what I meant. Um, so yeah, that's uh, really the, the build for, for Sylveon. Uh, there's not much to say, I think. Uh, I don't know how, how impactful the game it is going to, to, to be. Uh, yeah, but we'll see. This is mainly a cleric roll, uh, and maybe come in on Dredgigan, but that's about it. Uh, for my fifth Pokemon, I'm going with Rotom Fan. Uh, Rotom Fan is, I think, my honestly could be my best bet against Registeel. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I think we have a really it's Registeel is gonna be physically defensive. I know my team is, I think, the threats, the big threats are the physical side. So I think he will go for it. Uh, so Ro Rotom, probably the best uh, threat against his uh, Registeel. But I think I have gone for defensive Rotom. Um, because I need something to come in on, on defense-ish ish Rotom. Uh, because I need to, something to come in on ish Oshifu. Uh, with uh, this... Like with the stats, uh, it can come in on a surging strike and uh, what's it called? Close combat, so should be able, but only at full HP. Uh, yeah. So and hopefully, like you know, uh, I could take it out with with a discharge or a slash. Um, honestly, this is 
probably not the most best plan that because it's not just stopping him from just swapping but hopefully uh i can you know to do enough damage uh with this charge and air slash that you know i can overwhelm the shifu late in the game so yeah uh i have you know defog just so i can keep as it's off uh in case uh, extra jewel doesn't have a, a opportunity to come in and i have pain split as a way to try to keep rotom healthy um uh, but we'll see uh yeah uh well my last book one is going to be machoke uh with the hit. no god machoke uh with eviolite uh machoke Honestly, it's probably my best bet against, uh, oh, my best defensive Pokemon against, uh, Landorus. Um, I think he should be able to take two, I think it gets three hit KO'd by Earthquake. Uh, I don't remember if I put Choice Fan in that calculation, or if it was. Uh, anyway, I think, defensively, it's my best, uh, Pokemon against Landorus. Uh, yeah, so uh, I have Dynamic Punch and Knock Off. That should, those two moves should do well against his team. Uh, because the, the potential of confusing and getting rid of items are just good utility. I have Rest and Sleep Talk there. Uh, that way I can try to keep Marchoke healthy. And it allows Marchoke to be kind of a status absorber. Um, so, yeah. Uh, obviously, full defense, full HP. Uh, I'm not really relying on the damage of Machoke, and this is a very defensive Pokemon. Uh, and I'm hoping just that the utility of Dynamic Punch and Knock Off could help me break down his team. So uh, that is uh, that's my team. So let's uh, let's just get straight into battle. <laughs> okay, PAC Week Six. Let's see if we can uh, get a win out of this. A oh, convincing win. I'd say I've had a really busy week, so I don't know how. I feel like I'm not that prepared. Um, okay, so as expected, I I expected I resolve. Um, and and Urshifu as uh, the resists to uh, the water resist. Um, but there's one more water resistant. Uh, but that's it. I'm, I'm not sure what the rest of the team's gonna be like. Now I'm gonna start with Rotom. Oh, we'll see from there. Okay. Um. Oh, Dredgigun, that's it. Dredgigun's the other. Um, I don't know why, I feel like people would <laughs> doing the triple using all the uses. Oh, I thought all three would come. But, eh. I was hoping, because I just before this match started, I was thinking maybe I should have gone for a more offensive Rotom fan, but uh, obviously it's the way things are. Just oh, <laughs> that kind of sucks, but uh... I got no choice to switch. I don't want to fall my Rotom to fall asleep.
Even though I just set up stealth rocks, I thought he would switch out. But I can't I can't afford multiple layers of spikes to come up. Oh, that sucks. Got no choice. <laughs> I don't remember him having a ghost type. <laughs> oh, I could have checked just before. I'm actually fine with that, I guess. Not much going on, I would say. Kind of... Kind of just forcing me around. I don't know whether he'll be setting up spikes again. I guess bet is to probably just rock blast him now. We'll probably set up one more layer of spikes. Just lucky point. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I was gonna say if I'm lucky he might just yawn, but uh, I mean that's one down. At least I can't be six <laughs> Two layers of spikes is pretty bad. What this thing goes through tech, doesn't it? That was completely my uh, my fault. I completely my thing of that thing goes through for tech. Ah uh, uh, man, but that did a lot less damage than I, I thought. Or did I just underestimate uh, how much? Uh, the Shifu does. Um, uh, what are my my, uh, my choices here? <laughs> uh, I actually have nothing against. I can safely come in on PC, so I'm a little bit weary.
I don't think he'll stay in, but I'm just thinking there's no point in. I, I don't want to deal with Ivysaur in the future. And I can always just switch out whatever he switches in. So if I only put a Shifu, I really think that's... I'm really scared I'm just not doing that. I'll see from here. I do want an opportunity to set up to, to spin away the spikes, but I don't know what that opportunity will be. And basically this is what I'm afraid of. <laughs> At first, I'll just knock off his leftovers. I don't know how much body press is going to do, Reggie Steel. I mean, this could just be a lose. This is just losing for me, probably. See if he hits himself. And right, now he continues on with his tap, so. I'm in a bad position now. I, I don't think I really have a Pokemon that can really do enough damage against him. I'm gonna start with just Defog. I think my best bet is to just get rid of the, the spikes. Pokemon is probably my best bet, regardless. So. Do I even have survived? <laughs> it's like... 
Um, Uh, I got no uh, switch ins. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, because uh, someone tell me his his choice scarf. There's really no way of knowing. Uh, but. Oh, if he uses a rock move, that's... Uh, I guess that's a way of me knowing. I, I reckon he's choice star. There's gotta be a way he... Okay. Not. So what's stopping Dracovish from going through his team? I guess Reggie Steel at this point. Uh, switching Reggie Steel in, into this move. I'm pretty sure he could have will use he's gonna will o wisp. Um really no reason why uh not to. No reason to just rock slide here. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you'll just switch to Landorus. Okay. I don't know if Earthquake could have ki killed him. <laughs> I'm surprised by that move.
we'll see how things pan out now. Landorus now? Maybe? Maybe a Shifu actually. Could use it to recycle uh Intimidates, so... Okay, I thought he was going to cycle... Earthquakes <laughs> there. Uh, I mean, uh... Intimidates there, but... I, I guess not. Reggie still will probably be a really bad for me. So. is surging strike. He's gonna surge him strike or is he gonna switch to uh Reggie Steel? Ah. What is he gonna do? This could be this is probably the the defining moment. Okay, so you strike. Oh, okay. That's close. Now the question is how do I break this thing? <laughs> My best bet is probably to have a uh, Rot Rotom fan to do it. Or Rotom fan itself will not doing enough damage. The question is what moves does he have? I know he has a uh, body press and uh, um, prime defense. I could have just hard switched, but uh, <laughs> uh,
Ah, we'll see from here now. Oh, that's a bit unlucky there. At, at this rate, I don't know whether he has rest or something. I hope he doesn't have rest. That would suck for me. Uh, But he, he, he may very well could have rest. Okay. So, oh man, that's a close match, uh, I think. Uh, I was, I think I was just shy of just losing. Like, I think if he switched to uh, Registeel and kept uh, Shifu instead of like Surging Strike, I think the match would have went way, like the other way. So, uh, I think I a little bit of luck on my side, I think. But, uh, that was a great match. Uh, like good game to my my uh, opponent. Um, so yeah, uh, we got us. Uh, I'm gonna save my uh, first convincing win. Now you know what week one I think was a uh, pretty no no actually our first convincing win. Um, yeah, it took us six weeks, but <laughs> we did it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, I would really appreciate a like. Otherwise, uh, if you want to keep up with my uh, run through the, the PAC, the best thing to do is to subscribe. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I urge you to check out my opponent's uh, side of the battle uh, and his channel. Uh, a link to to both of them will be in the description below um along with the other coaches in the pac um but with that said uh, i mean next week uh if i if memory serves me right i'm versing you know what i'll i'll double check i'll make myself <laughs> an ass of myself uh i'm pretty sure uh, i'm versing um Let's go, uh, the Commissioner, uh... Yes, yes, uh, okay, uh, it's... Austin Toros will be facing, uh, their coach, Sally Mumbles. Oh. Uh, this is... We have faced Sally Mumbles before, uh, unfortunately, we didn't win then, but hopefully, uh, we can win now, oh, for, well, for this, um this league and hopefully this will start uh, a, a long winning streak um, but you know, that's that's next week and uh, until then I hope you guys have a great day and uh, see ya